Hey guys, Sean Clement here from the Richmond Hill Golf Learning Center. And uh, today we're going to uh, recall uh, a video from way back when uh, called Through the Ball. And um, just to, um, you know, through the years that I've, as I've been teaching and, you know, I see a lot of people every week, so I get to learn a lot every time I get out of bed in the morning. I'm, I'm really looking forward to see what I can learn uh, from my students that day. So uh, today is no exception. But one particular aspect of, uh, of my teachings that has uh, resonated and still continues to do so, you know, through today is the fact that if you only have one object in the way of you swinging to the target, it is never as accurate as if you had at least two objects. So you remember in our grass whip video, we talked about how we were cutting through a whole bunch of stems instead of just one. It's the same thing here in that two ball drill. So if I get two balls, and please, you know, don't use anything uh, more than a pitching wedge, nine iron at the most. I've got one of my sand wedges here. Um, when you get down to a six or a seven iron, you'll be playing croquet, not golf, when it comes to these golf balls here, okay? So we don't want that. The guy next to you is gonna get a little nervous. So we put two balls about six inches apart, four to six inches, and when you set up to both golf balls, what I want you to do is put the center of your stance right in the middle of both golf balls. So basically, we'll be playing a draw with the first ball and a fade with the second ball, okay? So you get behind, and it should feel like the first ball is going to fly to the right and over the second ball. Then the club continues around the arc and catches the second ball, and it'll feel like the second ball is going straight. So first ball flies to the right, second ball flies straight. Okay? So get behind. Go ahead now. I'm going to use the weight of my hammer to swing through. So this is really important for you guys to insert into your routines. Once you're ready to pull the trigger, recall the weight of your hammer. Where are we going with that again? Oh yeah, we're going to let it release over there. So I'm behind. I feel the weight of the hammer. I'm going to use the weight of the hammer to release through both these golf balls. So let it swing through. Now, what you'll realize real quick is that the first ball flies straight and the second ball will go left. That's basically what it should look like when you're, when you're hitting out there. So once again, get behind the ball, feel a nice swing through both. Wow, terrific. You gotta see two things in your arc. So when I'm setting up, and I can see what, if I swing back and through in front of me here without stopping, let the weight of the hammer come through. I see the blur of the club swinging through both golf balls. The blur of the club is wide enough to swing through both. I see the blur of my arc swinging through both golf balls. Feel the weight of the hammer. Let the blur go through both golf balls. So, again, flush on both. This is a lot of fun. Now, once you're done with a couple of, you know, when you get on the range, <clears throat> use your crappy balls to put in second place, right? The second ball. Once you've done a few of those, try some other objects. You know, you could put a little dead leaf right there in the same spot. So, ball and dead leaf. Here we go. So you can see how the club is passing wide enough to collect the second object. Use a little broken tee. Use uh, uh, one of those plastic tee markers. Anything that you can put in the, in the way. So when you get on the golf course, you pick a spot in front of the ball no more than six inches away and feel like that spot is in the way of your swing. So let's say we're playing a small draw, playing the ball just a hair back of center. I got a spot right here in front of the ball. Right? Obviously, you can't do that. It's against the rules. But 
you know, you pick a blade of grass. They're very easy. You got all kinds of different colors of blades of grass and stuff like that. So now I want to feel like that particular intermediate point is in play, right? Not in play. In play. Not in play. In play. All right. So now this is accessible if... I release the energy to the target. So once you've identified that these objects are in the way of you letting the hammer release to the target, you letting the weight of the club release itself in the direction of your target, then your job's done. You have to go back to feel the weight of the hammer, let the weight of the hammer release itself out there. Everything's in the way, good. Still in the way, still in the way. And that's how you organize the, the, the thinking process to execute your shots, okay? You have any questions, let me know. This is a terrific, and it's, and it's resounding throughout all of my student base. This has really helped across the board. So one night my student's with me, and he's kind of hitting the shots a little crooked. I'll put another object in front, and all of a sudden the spray angle goes from there to there instantly okay so keep that mental process engaged see the blur go through those objects feel the weight of the hammer release through the objects and have some fun with it